Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Break Talos Principle 2, the only series where the rules are made up and the puzzles don't matter. So today we're going to be tackling Eastern Wetlands, which is the third area of the game. And like I said in the last episode, um, this area focuses pretty heavily on lasers and we will be exploiting the hell out of them, of course. So in a break from our usual procedure, we actually will be doing the first uh, puzzle first. So we're just going to start by grabbing that and connecting there. And that's going to be pretty much the extent of the puzzle solving we'll be doing in this puzzle, because after that we're going to jump up on top of the wall. We're just going to need to drop this outside here first. And then we'll just come over here and solve the puzzle. Simple enough. And then before we leave, we need to make sure that we connect this here to this pylon, this connector that's way out in the distance. Normally we use that to solve a Pandora puzzle, um, but we're going to be exploiting the lasers up in the sky there to break a whole bunch of puzzles. So let's make sure we don't forget this inverter. And we're just going to run... We're going to do two next, but we need to put this up in a specific spot um, to make it easier. Alright, now that we're here, we're just going to do, need to do a little bit of mountain climbing, uh, which 1k, of course, is no stranger to. As usual, um, things like this are a lot easier in third person. It just gives you a better spatial awareness of what you're jumping on and um, what's around you. The first easter egg of this area is a little speaker here, and if you hit E on it, it plays this sound. I have no idea what that sound is. If I had to guess, it may be from a Serious Sam game, maybe? So then we're just going to jump up here, and we're just going to connect this laser to the connector there. That's really not what I meant to do. Yeah, um, since they put an easter egg here, I imagine they made it easier to jump up here. I have no idea how hard this would have been uh, before 1.1. We're actually just going to stay in third person, because if you go into first person, you can see this uh, hologram here really just makes it impossible to do anything. So we just need to connect it to that connector right there. And if we look down into number two, you can see there's two blue connectors, or uh, two blue receptacles that we can just barely see. So we just need to connect it to both of those. Then we need to put this right here and make sure it doesn't fall off. That actually happened to me once halfway through running back to two. My lasers disappeared on me and I looked back and it had slid off the, the edge there. Alright, now that we're in two, all we need to do is just grab this inverter, open this first door, and open the second door with this connector. Look at that. Could not be simple. Alright, after this we're going to do seven, um, because three requires these lasers up here to be blue. So we're going to get all of the red laser puzzles out of the way first. Alright, and here we are at 7. This one is going to be laughably simple. All we got to do is just connect this receptacle to that laser up in the sky. And then next, we need to go to one of the lost puzzles. It's not this one right here. It's over in the east, I believe it's... Yeah, right about here. So there's two ways into this puzzle that I know of. There's probably more than two in total, but I know about two of them. But before we use any of them, we need to come in here and we're going to have to reposition this jammer just a little bit. We need to put it right there. And then the first way to get up is over on the, I guess it would be the west end of the little cliff edge over here. Just some old scars. Just need to get up right onto this corner, and then we need to sprint jump and kind of curve to the right to get up onto that right there. And then from here we can just jump up on the wall, 
And getting down here is always really tricky because it's just a tiny little ledge that you can land on. So you just got to kind of slowly nudge yourself over. It always looks like you fall into the puzzle right there, but do it right and you won't. So we're just going to leave this right here for a minute. Um, I've decided that I'm just going to go in and solve all of the lost puzzles. Uh, just to do all of the puzzles in the game. I don't know if I'm going to do like a follow-up episode later where I do the other um, lost puzzles from the first few episodes that I skipped. Not sure about that yet. But anyway, um, we just need to jump up right here. And then follow this around this way. And from here we can jump in. And we'll finish it off just like this. We're making good progress. Alright, with that out of the way, let's go get that jammer that we left up here earlier. And we're going to get take it over to number 5. We're just going to jam that gate right there. Then we are gonna grab that jammer once again, and we're gonna run it over to eight. I set the drone out the puzzles. It seems like we need I remember this being one of the the harder puzzles when I played this game the first time, but this is gonna make it so simple. It's so funny. There's no point in going there if it's all there. So we just take that, and connect it. And we just take this and switch it from the first gate to the second gate, and our path is clear. Alright, so now we need to go back and switch the red laser to blue, um, but on the way I am going to go do this lost puzzle here first. Just to get it out of the way while we're in the area. Oh, you know what? No, we can't do that one yet. We need to... Yeah, we need blue laser for that. I forgot. Alright, so all we gotta do here is just connect it to the red source instead. Alright, and now we're going to run back to number three next. So we're just going to open this gate. And then use that blue laser up there with the inverter and free the RGB connector. We're just going to take this back to the start and connect it to the red source and the blue laser up there and the green receptacle. Bam. With that done, now we just have four, six, and that one other lost puzzle left to go. Um, four and six actually do not even require the lasers. And four is just right up the thing here. So there's two different ways in here that I know about. Um, the first one is to go up on this little cliff right here. Just stand right on this little peak and jump around the... Ooh, not like that. Just stand right here and jump around. Ooh, really should not spread jump. Just overshoot every time. There we go. We're just doing a little thing there. Oh, I just spread jump again. Okay. Regular jump. Yeah, that's definitely how you do it. And we'll just follow this uh, ridge all the way over. And all we need to do is climb right up here. And there we go. We can jump in and solve this puzzle now. Now we're just going to need to steal one item from this puzzle. It doesn't matter what item it is. So I'm just going to leave this right here so we can grab it from up on the wall. And then come right over here and jump on this corner. It's a little bit of a fiddly jump, but it's not too bad. There we go. We'll just come over here, drop down, grab our inverter, and leave it right there. Actually, can we get over there from the top of the walls? You can't go that way because this little wall is there. So let's follow this all the way around. Mm. 
No, I don't think you can get up on top of that. Yeah, definitely not. And even if you could, I guess you'd be able to jump over there. Let's try here. Oop. Let's try up here. Ooh, keep missing that. Let's try up here. Mm, that's kind of a long jump. I don't think you can walk on those. Let's go the other way around. This looks... ooh. Let's get back up there. Okay, let's try this one more time. Yeah. Okay, we can get up on top of there. And then here... Yep, so you can also just get this way, and it's probably a little easier than all the jumps right over there. But anyway, that being said, let's just grab our inverter from here. We're going to run it down the hill to number six. So just to the right of the entrance over here on number six, there's a little ledge on this wall that you can hop up on. And then from there you can go up another ledge, and you're on top of the wall now. So we just run this over to the end. Now we could do it the boring way and just grab this and bring it over here and drop it just like that. But I want to do something a little more interesting. So we're going to run over here instead, grab this connector, and there's a tiny, tiny little crack in the wall here. And if you line yourself up just right, you can place it outside. That's actually like my favorite trick in the series so far is to just jam things through holes and walls. It's a pretty reliable trick. So now that we've smuggled it out of the puzzle, let's just smuggle it right back in using the same method we did before. Just like this. And there we go. Six solved in an unnecessarily complicated, yet also unintentionally simple way. So now that we've done six, let's go do that other lost puzzle we couldn't do before that required the blue lasers. So this one is also pretty simple. We just need to grab this and swap it with the driller inside. And then we just take this right here, connect it to that receptacle, and then you just gotta click right there. And then you gotta find just the right spot to put it in. But it's not being blocked by that, and it's not being blocked by that either. There we go. That's all the puzzles done. So let's uh, do the sparks next. There's one spark that's right over here. This spark isn't anything special. It's just kind of sitting right on the ground over here. And there's that one. The next one is going to be straight north of us, pretty much. So it's kind of hidden right between these rocks here. Then we'll just pass through these uh, giant statue stone things. So this one is pretty unique in that they want us to do some sort of weird jumping puzzle to get up to it. And while 1K does enjoy jumping shenanigans, this is, like, officially endorsed jumping shenanigans. And that's not really his style, so instead we're going to come out here. And we are going to do it our own way. Because we really don't want to do anything the way the developers intended us to, because that's no fun. So this one is probably the trickiest uh, series of jumps in this area. I would say definitely is the trickiest ones. Got to catch this tiny little ledge right here. And we want to jump up. Oop, missed it. There we go. And from here we just keep going up. And we're going to want to go to the right. And I find it best if you just kind of hold sh uh, sprint and just run up to the left as much as you can. Yep, just like that. 
And all that's left is just dump, jump. Oh, I missed it. No. Okay. Let's give this one more try. Just gotta jump down here and grab it. See? Simple. Alright, so that is both sparks, um, so I guess we will do the easter eggs next. So the very first one is right under, I believe it is this strut right here. We're just going to have to get right under this little skinny, smooth section. And we're just going to hop into photo mode and go straight up. And right inside one of these little nooks. I think it's on the other side. Yep, there it is. There's a kitty face for this area. I'm assuming every area has one kitty face. I kind of skipped the first one in uh, East 1, but I might go back and just show a video of the stuff I skipped. So with that one out of the way, we are going to go north again. It's kind of a lot of stuff up in this north area. Oh, and I uh, just want to give a shout out to TJM, the author of the uh, Steam Guide that I'm following for all these Easter eggs. Uh, we're not sure if these are all of the Easter eggs in the game, but they are all the ones that have been found so far. And that's the guide that I'm using for these videos. Alright, so right over here. Yep, right, this little, little purple glow in the distance is one of those little, uh, I don't know what you call them, lost holograms. This one is just a kid playing with a elephant slide. Now all we gotta do is just follow this uh, shoreline west. And right back here in this little hidden away nook along this shoreline, um, you'll see two peculiar statues. This is a reference to a Pink Floyd album cover. I don't remember what cover or album it is off the top of my head. But it pretty much looks just like this. Um, just there isn't any water. I think it's just all grass. So then our next Easter egg, we just keep going west. And right in front of this uh, giant stone dude in this uh, thicket of trees here, we will find a soccer goal or a football goal depending on where you live. Here's the other goal, and there is a very sad, deflated soccer ball right there, but we can fix it. We just need to grab this pump right here and take it over to the ball and inflate it. And all that's left is to make a goal. So we're just gonna kick it through the woods a little bit. 1K is not exactly a soccer player, that's for sure. Do they play sports in New Jerusalem? Just gonna keep kicking it here. Goal is over this way. It's a little bit tricky. I mean, once you get it into the goal, you are rewarded with. So that's nice. Alright, and before we head back to the tower to finish this area off, um, I just need to check up on social media. I just need to give a few specific answers here to ensure that I can still get all the achievements at the end of this run. I'm following a Steam Guide by Hanny on which answers to give so that you can get all of the different endings in one run. So shoutouts to them. These aren't the only answers that will work. There is some wiggle room, um, but if you just make sure you follow these exact answers, uh, you'll be guaranteed to be able to get every ending. Alright, with that out of the way, let's head over to the tower and finish this area up.
finish my analysis of the particle cloud. All right, I think that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Uh, make sure you tune in next time to join us on our first visit to the megastructure. There are some puzzles in there, and I don't know how breakable or exploitable they're going to be, but I'm sure once 1K and I give a good look at them, um, we'll figure something out. As always, if you guys have any feedback, tips, anything like that, you just want to say hi, leave a comment. Um, I love reading the comments on them, and it's always a treat when somebody leaves one. So I think that's going to do it for us in this episode. Until next time, peace. That one's solved. Now, of course, I'm not just going to jump down there. That would be much too easy. We have to do this uh, legitimately, of course. See? Just like this. We didn't skip the puzzle, the puzzle just happened to be already solved when we got to it. <laughs>